first time brushing my hair. It will be missed, that's for sure, but it will be nice not having to do this anymore. But today's the day, and I'm pretty excited. Still a bit crazy to me that I'm actually doing this, but here we go. And I uh, plan to film the whole thing. Hopefully, I think my mom's doing a live video. I might end up having somebody film on my phone also. That way, I'm not sure how the live works, if she'll have a copy of the video or not, or if there's a way that I could download it. But <clears throat> either way, I plan to film this so that you guys can see it and so that I can refer back to it and stuff and like show people when they ask about it because I know a lot of people have been asking for videos and pictures and whatever after it happens and I thought it would be fun to do it during also so that you can see the process and just kind of like see how crazy my head looks as they're shaving it because like parts of it are probably going to be really shaved and then other parts are still going to have all my hair so it might look kind of weird but it should be fun so today leaving for church here soon about 10 15 ish and then it'll be like noon when we get back then we'll eat lunch quick and leave around like maybe 12 30 ish and then my shave time is at 1 30 so I'm going to be there actually pretty close to start time and then hopefully I'll get to hang out there for a while and see other people getting their head shaved and just hang out with my boyfriend he's the one who Kind of got me involved in it because he's the one that actually goes to this uh, college that I'm getting it shaved off at. I'm actually doing it at a different college than the one I go to. So it should be a lot of fun and I'm super excited. So hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'm excited to see what my reactions will be. Not going to lie. Ronnie, any last words? Ready? Any last words? Any last words? Help me. <laughs> Help me, they're going to help you with your hair. <laughs>
so nice. You're beautiful. It's sort of freeing, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. My head feels so much lighter today. It is weirdly yeah. shaped, though. <laughs> You're weird, Ronnie. It is weirdly shaped, though. Your head is weirdly shaped, though. I'll be wearing lots of Did you say 22 inches? 22 inches. 22 inches taken off that pretty head. Mm. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's live, isn't it? Yes, it is. Courtney says you have a heart of gold. She loves you. And she thinks you're amazing. Hi, Lisa. Lisa Stewart's watching. Uh huh. Love you all. Lisa says you're beautiful and amazing. <laughs> We're gonna check on Xavier's progress over here. How is it taking longer to do his hair? I'm not sure. He's very thorough. Oh, we got a helper there. That's why. Very sweet. He's very thorough. Love it. So hold up that hair. Look at all of that hair. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it is. Beautiful. Sign off now. Bye. <laughs> Something about me is a bit different now. So why did I get my head shaved? You might ask because who does this? But I would like to say that I did this and I am proud of it. I did this to honor both my mom and my Aunt Sarah who were two beautiful, beautiful Bollies that passed away due to cancer and just for a lot of my other family and friends that have been affected that I just, I've just hated to see go through all their treatment and just the pain and struggles both for them and the, their caregivers. It's just really hard on a lot of people and I want to put an end to it. And this is, this is just one little step and one little part that I'm doing to take action. With St. Baldrick's, I also had a fundraising page that I was raising money leading up to this event and that everyone else involved in the same event were also raising money for, which is really cool. And St. Baldrick's also gives a very high percentage directly to research, which is really cool to me because obviously we really need to keep researching to be able to find these cures and the only way that people can continue to research is if they're funded and I've never been one that wanted to go medical just because I just can't do it like I can't do it and I respect people that can and so I want to be able to fund people that can do those things with St. Baldrick's I just find it really unique that they especially try to target kids with cancer and this is just really cool to me because kids are the ones that are being impacted at crucial development stages in their life. They just can't have as much fun as kids their age normally should be able to because they're in hospitals very often or they're just in pain a lot or some even die at this young age and it's so sad because like it's it's heartbreaking to think that there's kids that die of cancer that haven't even reached the age that I am and I just don't want that to be the case at all. So going back to the experience that I had getting my head shaved, 
I know that leading up to the event, I was extremely excited just to get my head shaved. Like, I just knew that the cause was really amazing and a lot of people were encouraging me to do this and so it was just really exciting to like receive all that support ahead of time so I was like fired up and then the day came and I was like I cannot believe I'm actually doing this I don't know what it's gonna be like what will my head be shaped like I was so afraid it was gonna be shaped so weirdly and I was gonna be so self-conscious of it but not so bad not so bad found out I have a widow's peak I never knew I had but hmm, interesting but um then just when I got there I got there like 15 minutes before my shave time or something like that so it wasn't very long and like instantly people were like oh my goodness she has so much hair like turns out I was the one with the longest hair that got my head shaved at the event so that was really exciting I guess it made sense then that since I had the longest hair there, they wanted to get my name and some general information down, and then they did before and after pictures for the news, so that was, that was pretty cool and unexpected. And then I got a shirt that I put on over a long sleeve shirt that I had on that was for St. Baldrick's. So then I had my shirt on, and then shortly after getting that on, I was called up to the stage with my boyfriend actually by my side so that was really cool and from there just that's when it that's when it all began they first put my hair all in like little ponytails like really close to my head and then so there were three people doing that and then and that went really fast so that was really cool next I I just like sat there for a bit and then I hear the razors and next thing I knew they were handing me chunks of my hair and I was just like grabbing them from side to side just pulling them all together and before I knew it this happened and my head was completely shaved and honestly the the uh, razor felt so cool against my head and I could just feel like the weight being lifted as my hair was being cut off since then, I'd say the weirdest thing has been the feeling of putting hats on or like putting my hood up even. Like anything rubbing against my head has been so weird. And like we have a hot tub at our house and like I would sit in it and I could feel like every drop that hit my head and it was the craziest thing. And then just a few added benefits that I didn't even think about is like my showers are extremely fast I say save, uh, save on like shampoo and soap and stuff because you know I don't have head of hair to wash and like the time it takes to get ready and shower whatever it's so much quicker and like it's so nice not having to worry about it and it's pretty great the only other weird thing in addition to like the feeling of like hats and stuff is just like not knowing how people will react especially since there's still a lot of people that haven't seen me yet since getting my head shaved but it's been good and then like I went out to a restaurant the other day and I could just feel some eyes like staring but other than that it's fine I I'm feeling pretty confident. I actually don't mind the way it looks, which I'm really happy about. And I am overall very satisfied with the experience. And I just hope to really just empower those who are currently losing their hair or just experiencing these things. Like, just be confident in yourself because you're beautiful. You don't need your hair. Like, don't try to buy into the lies that you need to have hair to be beautiful. So, I want to end this video on two last things. One, I just want to thank everyone that has encouraged me or donated or just reshared my post, whatever it is, to get the word out that I was doing this. I just thank you so much because I wouldn't have been able to have as great of an impact if it wasn't for you. And I just thank you for all the amazing comments that have been left on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter posts, whatever it is, like, 
I've been getting so many posts and reshares and different things and it's really cool to just have this kind of support because I would have never expected to have received so much love and kind words after doing this. And lastly, I just want to say I love you all and hope you have an incredible day and rest of your week and that you can just make a difference in others' lives today.